When Dama was a small child, she started speaking and walking later than the other children. She was a calm but not very active child. And she played alone a lot. We first noticed she was a bit different when we entered her into school. All the children were learning to write for the first time. At the end of the year, we were told she was having trouble memorizing and falling behind. The following year, we found out the new school manager had excluded her from school activities and she wasn't allowed to eat lunch with the other students. She told us that Dava was not fit for their school and could continue only as an observer. At first, I found it offensive and hurtful, and of course, Dawa would be crying. So I thought, what can I do for her? It was hard to learn that our child was challenged developmentally. We discussed that it was important for her to socialize and build a community. If there were a special school available, we wanted to enroll her. We reached out to a lot of people and found that one of the only special schools in Mongolia had just opened in another province. We moved the whole family to a village 10 hours away and we registered her at this new school. She was very excited about going to a new school. She kept asking, Mommy, what kind of school is it? Is it nice? Is it far from the house? My daughter loves going to school now. She loves her teachers and she hasn't missed a day of class. I like school. I'm learning many things. I'm learning to write and draw. Our dream for her is to receive an education and be an active member of society. She helps a lot with chores at home but I still worry about her future and her ability to fend for herself. My mommy teaches me a lot. She loves me very much, and I love her too. Dawa is inseparable from her mother. She supports Dawa in everything that she does. And Dawa is a child with such an amazing perseverance and dedication. We learned about Mongolia's first Special Olympics national games through a local volunteer. She told us that a team would be sent to Ulaanbaatar to represent the countryside and invited Dawa to go. She competed in three different events and won a silver medal in 100 meters. Everyone told her how great she was for having won a medal. She was very encouraged by people's kind words and has started to really enjoy running. She works very hard. In the winter, she used to run around our fenced yard. Now she has increased her distance. When I run, it is nice. I run once in the morning and once in the afternoon. I will enter competitions and win medals. Many medals. I'm going to America, Los Angeles. Dawa has never flown on a plane before. She's so excited about flying to the U.S. for the World Games. Dawa imagines America to be a faraway country with many tall buildings, many nice trees and many nice people, as she has seen on TV. If Dawa comes home having done her best, I will place her trail with milk and pray to Bottom Mountain. A customary act of pride and deep-rooted tradition in Mongolia. As parents, this is what we do. What else can we do?